I was at home. And we all know Fridays. When Fridays come, hey, it's party time. We go get dressed, we get ready to go out, party, hang out with the friends. But that Friday just seemed a little different. That Friday was, was just something about that Friday. I just didn't feel like going out. I didn't want to go out. I felt that if I was going to go out that night, I was not going to come back home. I opened my eyes. As I fell asleep, I opened my eyes again. That quick, just as, it's almost like a blink. Closed, open, and when I opened my eyes, what I noticed was that my face was stuck in the ceiling. My face was literally stuck up in the ceiling. So I'm trying to catch myself here, like questioning myself, what was going on? And as I look sideways, I can see my body laying in the couch. So I'm questioning myself, how come I can see my body? So I guess everybody knows how a balloon is, birthday balloons and whatnot. It has the healing in there and you grab it with the string and you let it go and it bounces up and down on the ceiling. Well, it was, my soul was almost that way. I pushed myself down, grab my hand on the wall and I push myself down and I'll come back up to the wall and bounce my face. I did that two times. The third time when I'm trying to push myself down, I can see my body again. And it was like, it was just like in a peaceful, restful manner. So I start spinning around the ceiling, slowly. Start going around in circles. And I'm going a little faster and faster. You know, there's nothing in the ceiling. So I'm trying to get a hold on to something, grab on to something. And I just can't get a hold of anything and I'm going faster and faster and faster and as the fastest I'm going now I'm starting to hear these wicked laughs like demons and I find myself in this big big dark place dark dark there's trees dead trees the ground the sand was like gray dirty gray whatever was behind me I was able to see these things because in there, there was a time where there's, it's so pitch black, you can't even see your hand in front of your face. It's so dark in there, you can't see anything. But whatever was behind me, I couldn't look back. But I can see in front of me, everything was dead, trees, and it, it was just dry. There's no love, there's nothing, just dead. And I'm moving forward slowly and I remember not remember but what I seen in my spirit when I was out of my body there was five demons that ran around me and they were covered in black almost like witches and warlocks covered themselves some of them were different some of them have face of like rats some look like bats you guys see these movies these Hollywood movies that the demons, how demons, they describe demons. See, Hollywood is based on the Antichrist. Witches and warlocks work for Hollywood. So they see demons, it's why they come out with these movies, because that's exactly how they look. So they make them as, 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 as a mask and, and models, and, and, and they make movies like that. That's exactly how demons look. But these things are more ten times stronger. 10 times bigger. Some of them have yellow eyes, green eyes, red light uh, eyes. Not beautiful little green, red light like Christmas lights. These eyes were evil, wicked. You can feel the hate, how they look at you. So I'm just standing there, okay? And then the sudden these flames just rose from the ground up. You know how we open our curtains in the morning? So that's the way the flames split. When the flames split, a voice told me, walk forward, go in there. So I walked forward. When I went forward, <clears throat> the 
there was a lot of screams. There was a lot of fire. I seen a lot of people. There was a lot of people screaming. Before I go forward, I'm not saying this to scare you guys. I'm not here to scare anybody. I'm just telling you, this is the true what happens after death. I seen all this, I seen rivers of fire. People are burning. There's been people burning there for many, many, many years, hundreds of years. People are, are their flesh burns. They burn, they burn, they burn, and the flesh falls. And your bones get nice and toasty and black and gray. And when it's done, then the flame, the, your skin, your flesh starts growing back on you. And then the flames start again. I seen witches. I seen warlocks. Because Satan told them that he was going to promise them their kingdom if they serve him. Which it was a lie. All he wanted was your soul. One soul is a million souls to the Lord. That's how valuable your soul is. As I'm walking through these dirt road, there's fire and there's screaming, there's shouting and people saying that, let me out. Let me out. I, I want to do right. I want to do right this time. I promise to do right. Let me go out and tell the world and let them know that this is a real place. Hell is real. But it's too late because once we have our opportunity and our chances, God's so merciful, He's so lovable, He gives you chance after chance after chance. And if we don't take that chance, that's where we're going to go. There was also a people in there because they have no love and no, uh, no forgiveness for their others. It says, pray for your enemies. It says in the Word of God, if you have no love, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. If you have no forgiveness, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven because God is pure love. Every one of these people there were being tortured and burned. There's no sleep, there's no rest, there's no food, there's no water. You know how it feels sometimes we don't go without water for a while? Man, we need water. Even though we don't like water, but man, we need water. I want some water. Food, rest, you ever been, when night falls, you're tired, you need to sleep? There's no sleep there. And these demons go in there day and night and they torture you. In every which way. There's never no rest for you. Burning, fire. I mean, that's the least of your problems of you sleeping, not drinking, or it's the torture that you're going through with these demons. And even i seen parents that we need to discipline the kids to be the priest of your house, the woman praying of your house, and to lead our children to Christ. And they didn't do their job because that was our job. So it's basically you're telling your son and your daughter, go to hell, I'm going to heaven. So where did you wind up going for not doing God's will? So I'm climbing up this hill already. I can't stand it. I can't see no more. I, I just, I wanted water. I wanted, I just wanted some water because my mouth was so dry. And I can feel the heat. I can feel the fire. As I'm coming up to this big, big, big hill, I finally came to the end of this hill and everything closed from behind and I'm staying there and, and I'm, I'm there standing already with this I'm, I'm, my mind is, is trauma, traumatized already I'm, I'm already I don't know what's going to happen anymore all I know is that I was glad not, that I was not seeing anything anymore and then a big angel seven foot angel beautiful angel with big blonde hair no wings just a white garment this angel had a big sword in his hand and he called my name he said Mario 
Mario, he had to call me two or three times because I was so afraid. I didn't even want to move one hand because I didn't know what was going to grab me. And I looked up to him. He said, Mario, do you know where you're at? And I looked at him and I said, no. He said, if today was your time, this would be your portion. This is where you would spend eternal life. This is hell. He said, this is hell. He said, who's your God? And I said, I don't know. And I remember these two people by the name of Ronnie and Mike. There was the two Christians that would come out of the bus and go and pick up the little kids and pick us up for church. When he came up to me with the Bible and said, look, Mario, Jesus loves you. This is what they would tell me. So a little window opened up and I seen both of them coming at me. Look, Mario, Jesus loves you. When they said Jesus, the window closed. And the angel spoke to me again and said, who is your God? I said, Jesus. He said, scream the name of your God. And I screamed it real loud. Jesus! And it echoed through the tunnels. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And whew, that's when I came back into my body.